G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I have a tear maker, but this is probably the tear maker that makes all tear makers. This is the Australian fast food hot chips tear maker. I have picked 11 common chip varieties, some from the biggest fast food chains in the country, but I've chucked in a couple of local fish and chip shop type chips as well just to mix it up. But we're gonna to get to the bottom of what is the best chip this country has to offer. But the tears go from God to not bad, which I think is a bit rough, you know, if you're coming second and you're not bad, I think that is a little bit rough. But we've gotta separate the, the elite from the elite to the, you know, just middle of the pack, I guess. God for serviceable in the middle, not great is the second lowest one. And then just awful. Just a chip that you wouldn't even bother putting your salt on. All right, first up, I'm going with a local fish and chip chip. This is a hard one because all local fish and chip shop chips are different. But I think you know what I mean when I talk about a fish and chip shop chip. Never amazing, like they're never the greatest chip you've ever had. More often than not, they're never awful. So I'm gonna put the local fish and chip shop chip in serviceable. Because I think you know what you're getting when you get them. You're not getting anything too extravagant, but you're getting something relatively consistent. So I'm going to say serviceable. Then have Red Rooster. The only time I've really eaten Red Rooster is when there's no other fast food options in the next 55 kilometers. I think Red Rooster is a last resort sort of fast food. I think the chips are a barometer for the restaurant. And that's why I'm putting uh, Red Rooster chips in not great. The restaurant's not great. The chips aren't great, but they just don't seem to be pulling their finger out. I'm personally putting the Red Rooster chips in the not great section. Nando's. Now everyone loves a cheeky Nando's. Everyone froths a cheeky Nando's. I don't froth a cheeky Nando's chip. They've got this sand on them. And I know this is the peri peri salt, but your chips are sandy. Nando's, your chips have sand on them. I reckon their chips would taste good if I had a little bloody dust and pan and I could dust some of the sand off them. Some people like that, that sandy chip taste, but not me. Hey, I like to keep my chips away from the seaside. Fortunately for me, I'm chucking Nando's in the not great. Grilled would have to be one of my favorite restaurants. I love the burgers. They feel fresh, they feel great. I think Grilled is a quality spot. But the first time I went to Grilled, I ordered nothing but the chips. I mean, it was to my shock and dismay that their little bowl of chips come with grass clippings on them. Genuine grass clippings. I had a bit of debris from Jim's mowing. People might think it's herbs, but to me it was grass clippings. I was like, what the fuck are on my chips? So I put a big red line through the uh, the grilled chips. I thought, you know what, I've, I've tried them once. I'm never gonna eat them again. They were disgusting. And then I went a second time and I uh, got, you know, my favorite burg, the Simon Says, and I got the chips. I thought, maybe they're not awful. Maybe they're not great. Maybe their chips are not great. And then I went a third time. Yeah, that's changed. I reckon grilled chips now are serviceable. I don't know, maybe it's just an acquired taste, the grass clippings on your chips, but but I have warmed to the flavor, so that's why grilled chips are in the serviceable column. Right, so here's another local selection. Local fish and chip shop, chips and gravy. Where the flip do you put that? The best chips and gravy you've ever had could be God. It might be a God tier chip. I'm afraid that you know, because you get them from different stores, they can be inconsistent. Sometimes it's just the $2 packet of Gravox poured on, and that's not good enough. Other times it's a homemade beef and chicken and thick and brown gravy that just floods all over the chips, melting even the hardest of potatoes into this soft, tasty, delicious meal. On a good day and at a good place, your chips and gravy is God. But because you can get them inconsistent, I'm gonna put them in the not bad section. And that's tough for me to say because I love chips and gravy as much as the next bloke. I don't think it would be right putting chips and gravy in the God, God section. Now on to betting chips, and they're awful. Because I've never won. That was a bad joke, I wish I could have removed it, but unfortunately I filmed myself uh, making the tier before this, so that's why the betting chips are in there. Now we get onto the big dogs, there's not that many left. The next chips are the grilled chips. So haven't we already done the grilled chips? Yeah, we have, but we haven't done the sweet potato fries. Now, I'm not a pumpkin man, so I completely ruled out any orange looking vegetables for the rest of my life. And then I was offered a sweet potato potato cake. I had it, and it has changed my life. I am addicted to sweet potato. It's one of the greatest vegetables you can get in the game. At Grilled, they had these big, chunky sweet potato fries. They're not the best sweet potato fries I've ever had. I like my sweet potato fries to be smaller and, you know, fries-like. These are just massive, chunky bits of sweet potato, but because they're deep fried and salted, they go down an absolute treat. You're gonna put grilled sweet potato fries 
above their chips. I'm gonna put the sweet potato fries in the not bad section. Maccas, one of the juggernauts in the fast food industry, one of the innovators. But for a place that's been so innovative, <laughs> I've got that out first go. They don't seem to be mixing it up with their chips. It's this stock standard soggy, salty fries. But I absolutely love them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them in the not bad. But I still reckon Maccas, with the amount of money they make, they could change the chip game. And I think they tried to once. They tried to put cheeseburger flavoring on your chips. Bizarre. You can't do the same thing forever though, so I don't mind the attempt. But it would be good if Ronald McDonald and the clan put their minds together and tried to innovate the chip game. Because I think with their star power, Anything's possible. All right, Schnitz, you find it at every food court. Quite a new shop, I believe. I always go get the plain and simple. I'm a regular normal bloke, aren't I? I don't mix it up. But Schnitz chips, I think, are in the God tier. Schnitter chips in the God tier. Now this might sound crazy. You might be like, oh, what about Macca's? What about KFC? What about all these chips? No, they don't compare. They do not compare. Schnitz chips are unbelievable. It's like they're coated in this like brown, textury, battery thing. I don't know what it is, but it is a game changer. Schnitz, for that, your chips are world class. They're top of the list and they're in God. And if you want to send me some freebies, That'd be nice. So schnitz are the only chip in the god tier until now because Hungry Jacks is a god tier chip. About three years ago, Hungry Jacks used to be a poor man's Maccas in the chip department. They used to have the exact same chips. It was just copycatting. But Hungry Jacks said, no, we're going to get ahead of the game. We're going to beat Ronald to the punch and we're going to turn our chips into something that we've never seen in the chip world before. So Hungry Jacks changed their chips from small, soggy fries to thick, crusted, heavy chip. It's a chip. It's a chips chip. So Hungry Jacks, I applaud you. I applaud you for changing the chips, but I do not applaud you for changing the recipe to the grilled chicken burger. Now it's a grilled cheese and bacon burger and it's, it's turned me off your restaurant. Schnitz chips, God tier. Hungry Jacks chips, God tier. KFC, awful. <laughs> KFC have the worst chips in the chip game. And I reckon a lot of people would agree, they're always soggy. They come in this cardboard box and they always go soggy. And there's a lot of floppiness to the uh, the KFC chip. There's no stiffness. There's no stiffness like the Hungry Jack chip. They're just soggy, floppy, just poor. It's so poor. They do go down well on a Sunday after you've had a few Bacardi breezes, but I'm telling you, if you just want a good meal with a good chip, KFC is not the place to go. And I know how popular KFC is, but I I think you're kidding yourself if you think KFC has a world-class chip on offer. I think the Colonel has a lot of work to do to get his chip off awful. I think he's got a bit of tinkering to do with the recipe. All right, guys, that was another video. If you agree with me, comment down below. And if you disagree with me, get out. If you disagree with me as well, comment down below your favorite fast food chip in the business. I appreciate everyone who watched this video. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.